Hey guys, it's Amber here with eTrailer. Today we're gonna to look at some of the costs associated with renting an RV, and I'm gonna give you some tips on how to keep the costs low on your RV vacation while still having an awesome trip. I've rented from a couple of different places, but I have the most experience with peer-to-peer -peer rental sites, so that's what we're gonna talk about today. Let's get started. First recommendation is if you can, try to go for a pop-up camper rather than a travel trailer. Pop-up campers are great for getting a lot of people camping. They generally have a lot of sleeping space. They are a lot more work to set up, but um, this can be worth it in the long run when you look at the price difference. So a travel trailer is going to run about 120 on average per night, whereas a pop-up camper is only going to be about 100 on average per night. And after a couple of days, this can really add up. My next recommendation for keeping costs low on your rental vacation is to camp during the off season if possible. This is going to be the months from November through about March. Um, this is when campsites generally don't see that much business, so they do offer some discounts. Um, for instance, around here, uh, we checked out a couple of campsites and found that you could save on average about $10 to $12 per night just by camping in the off-season. I also encourage you to explore the internet and try to find any discounts, savings programs, or promotions that are going on um, either through state parks, RV rental sites, or individuals on peer-to-peer -peer renting sites. For instance, a lot of parks have discounts for senior citizens, for current and former military. Um, a lot of individuals run promotions during the off-season or run specials for returning renters. So just take a look, see what's out there, browse around different websites, um, and you might get lucky and find a good promotion. We all know gas is super expensive, so my next tip is on gas savings. Now, it may be tempting to get the biggest, most awesome camper that you can find, and it may be easy to justify if you look at a bigger camper or a smaller camper and the price difference isn't too much, but remember that you're also going to be paying for that at the pump, whether you're towing it or driving it. Uh, a bigger camper is always going to cost more in fuel. The other thing to think about is whether or not you can get your camper at your destination rather than renting it from where you start from and then driving all the way across the country or wherever you're going because um, that's going to be extra fuel that's going to add up as well. So if you can just rent it um, at your final destination, then that's a lot less distance that you have to travel. Now, it's entirely possible to have a lot of fun camping without spending a ton of money. I suggest talking to the campsite host, getting an idea of what you can do locally that's free or low cost. Um, I also recommend hitting the grocery store before you get out there and cooking in your camper or uh, even over the fire. That can be really fun and it's a great way to save money. If you guys have any questions or comments about saving money during your RV rental vacations, leave them in the comments below. We are happy to help you guys. Talk to you later. If you guys like that content and want to check out our next video, go ahead and click this button over here. If you'd like to subscribe and check out the videos by our other Team COD trailer, go ahead and click this button over here. And if you want to just keep learning more about this topic, go ahead and check out our playlist over here.